Big Bad Scary Jack Smith. Let me talk to you about Jack Smith. I want to prove to you how dumb Jack Smith is. Now, admittedly, I am nothing more than your humble, neighborhood, satirical professor of the satirical conservative college. So granted, I don't have the credentials that Jack Smith has. The only credentials that I hold is being able to study the Constitution. Jack Smith is scary. Jack Smith looks scary. Jack Smith was not hired to convict Donald Trump. He was not appointed to put Donald Trump in jail. That will never happen. He was appointed to intimidate John Donald Trump and you. That's why he was appointed. He has no smarts whatsoever. And I'm about to prove that. Hang tight. You might want to share this because I'm going to show you what a dummy he is. Before I show you how dumb he is, did you know that Jack Smith has a conviction overturn rate through the roof? Did you know that his convictions are filled with mistrials, overturns, and public rebuke by Justice John Roberts himself that has publicly rebuked this prosecutor? Did you know the Supreme Court has overruled him? Did you know the federal courts have overruled his convictions? Why? Jack's not all there. Jack went up the beanstalk, literally. It looks like he did. And uh, while he was up there, he must not have gotten too great of a constitutional education. Why? Allow me to explain. In Florida, when he indicted President Trump, he said something in the press conference that day. And I gave him a pass the first time because I figured it was a Freudian slip. Surely he can't be that dumb, I thought. What did he say? He said that he was going to press for a speedy trial, the right to a speedy trial. I let it go the first time, Jack, Jackie boy, I let you slide. But then yesterday in Washington, this dummy said once again that he was going to press for the right to a speedy trial. Jack, Jack, did you not learn in law school that there is no such thing as a speedy trial for the government? There is no right to a speedy trial for the prosecutor. The right to a speedy trial belongs to the defendant. Uh, are, you, are you that? I mean, I literally, now look, I'm just an humble neighborhood professor. But I know that the government has no rights. The government has power to prosecute. Rights are for the citizens. Rights are for the defendants. So this is twice he said he's pressing for the right to a speedy trial. Now, the defendant has a right to a speedy trial, and the defendant gives up that right if they want to. How do they give it up? By filing a motion. The moment you file a motion, the clock on the speedy trial comes to a close, dummy. Jack Smith, you're mean, you're ugly, you're scary, you look like you come from the Vampire Diaries, you definitely didn't come from a law club or a law school or, or, or anywhere that knows the basics of the law. The government has no right to a speedy trial, dummy. I mean, you know what? The man's giving me hope. If he's that dumb... Thank God he's the prosecutor. A while ago, I was talking to a Democrat on the telephone. And this Democrat, I pointed out how dumb Jack Smith is. And they said, oh no, surely he's not that dumb. Let's Google it. I said, let's do and they went to Googling, and they went to searching, and they went to looking. They typed in, does the government have a right to a speedy trial? What did Jack Smith mean when he said he had a right to a speedy trial? And I sit and I listened. I said, keep searching, keep Googling, keep looking. 
because I understand the Constitution. I know the rights are not for the government. So when a prosecutor says we have rights, prosecutor has no rights. Rights is to protect the accused. So if you arrest me, you can't throw me in jail for 20 years and throw away the key. You've got habeas corpus, which means you have to get me before a judge within 180 days. And I think in a federal court, it's 100 days. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm simply your humble neighborhood professor from a satirical college that doesn't exist. And I'm smarter than that dummy prosecuting my president. There is no such thing as a right to a speedy trial for the prosecutor. I mean, honestly, folks, Jack Smith is a dummy. He was not appointed. I'm going to tell you again. He was not appointed to put Trump in jail. That will never happen. I said that will never happen. He was appointed to intimidate Trump to get so many indictments that they can offer Trump a plea deal to get out of the race. That is voter intimidation. That is the only goal they have. They will never put Donald Trump in jail. It will never happen. I told you earlier in another live why he will be the president in less than two years. Donald Trump will be the president. So, that's how dumb Jack Smith is. There is no right to a speedy trial. Go ahead, Google it right now. Prove your professor wrong. Don't ever believe anything I teach you. Go Google. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. And when it's over and done with, you'll have to come back and say, we were right. And then I'll sing, I told you so. Oh, I told you so. Folks, don't let Jack the Ripper scare you. He's a dummy. I mean, anybody that gets up and says, we're going to press for the right to a speedy trial, you just told me everything I needed to know about you. You're a dummy. So, ladies and gentlemen, y'all need to quit letting this man get in your head. Because when the indictments are over, the trials begin. And on every step of every courthouse that Donald Trump goes to, that will become a rally for him. On every step, in every courthouse, ladies and gentlemen, the right to contest an election is a right. Donald Trump contested the election. That has never been illegal. It's happened. The Democrats have contested. Stacey Abrams just contested an election. What do you think Al Gore did? What do you think? Contest the election. That's not overthrowing the government. That is showing the full power of the government that you have the right to do that. What prosecutor would get up, thank you, Frida, and say we're going to press for the right to a speedy trial that you don't have a right to? I mean, my God, you got dumb and then you got dumb. You got dumb, and then you got dumb. And, and Jack is dumb. Like, like dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I beg you. Two years ago, many of you were convinced that Donald Trump wouldn't make it this far. You allowed them to tell you. Do you not remember hearing? On your news for two years, he would never return? Does anybody remember hearing he would definitely not be the nominee? Do you not remember Mike Pence looked you in the eyes and promised you that you will have better choices this year, this time? He will not be the nominee. Does anybody remember? And you believed it. But yet I told you, he will return 
in 2024, not a day before. I always told you that those rabbit holes y'all were jumping in with the military and the new republic and all of that, I told you that would go nowhere, and it didn't. I told you JFK Jr. wouldn't bring him back, Dale Earnhardt Jr. wouldn't bring him back, and Elvis wouldn't bring him back. I've told you all along, stay right here in the truth, and we will win in the end. Ladies and gentlemen, every indictment is one step closer to the truth being revealed. And I want to assure you, at these trials, Donald Trump, for the first time, will have subpoena power to get voting records, to get anything his lawyers need to prove his innocence. Did you hear what I just told you? He's never had subpoena power. These trials, I promise you, they are going to turn for our good. And when our president, if he is convicted, our president will appeal to the next court and remain free while that appeal is going on. Then another appeal, then another appeal. I am calling on patriots everywhere to stand guard over your emotions. Know that God's man is on the rise. And there is nothing one devil in hell can do to stop it by the name of Jack the Ripper Smith. Because I've come to tell you, Jack, that beanstalk you're standing on, sir, when it gets cut down, oh, you're going to have a great fall, sir. God's man never loses. When God's hand is on a man, every enemy in hell can come against him. At the end, He'll still be standing while they're all off saying whatever they want to say. Know who you are. Know that God's got this. And you need to stand up where you are today and declare by faith. Take your authority and declare that Donald Trump is protected by the angelic forces of heaven. That Donald Trump has defeated every attack do y'all not remember when he was being impeached and I told you that he would never be convicted while he was being impeached? Do you know why? Impeachment means nothing. Indictments mean nothing. The only thing that means anything is a conviction at the third court, Supreme Court. Because you can appeal your way up, darling, all the way to the highest court in the land. So that's how dumb Jack Smith is. He thinks he has a right to a speedy trial. Now go Google and find out if the prosecutor has a right to a speedy trial. When you see he doesn't, you can tell your neighbors, I told you so. Oh, I told you so. Ladies and gentlemen, declare the will of God on earth as it is in heaven. Declare it with your mouth, believe it, and then fight for it. Y'all have allowed these dummies to intimidate you. But I hear the Lord said, Who is this that defies the army of the living God? Who does Jack Smith, Jack, Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick and got his butt burnt. And that's what's going to happen to Jack. Jack, you do not have a right to a speedy trial. Again, that's only from an humble neighborhood professor over a satirical college. But I promise you, I'm right. You would have thought that he would have never said something so stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, my fellow patriots, we're almost to the finish line. If you do not get your faith level up, you will be intimidated. But I have never been intimidated because I know how this story ends. God bless you. Tomorrow night, 8 Central, Toto tonight at the Conservative College. Thank you for watching.